contact with him as a, you know, as an adult. Well, uh, yes, uh, he is in California jail, Los Angeles jail. He's just moved there. Um, for years, I never really uh, looked up. I never really tried to figure out where he was, what he's about. Never. Um, the reason why um, I know now is because of the book. Um, I, you know, I, you know, it took years for me to have a, a for me to want or desire to have dr uh, dreams and desires and purpose and fulfill and all that other stuff. Because that night kind of stripped it away, and, and I never knew that. You know, I, what was the dream? What was the purpose? You know, you just live day for day. And so uh, one day. Uh, well, as time went on and as I continued to live, you know, uh, God, you know, uh, helped me out big time, and I started to do things in church and started to help out. But, but uh, as I grew, developed different things, there was still something that I was missing, and I couldn't, you know, I couldn't figure it out. I didn't know what it was. But and so I lived life doing what I was supposed to do, but it was something I was missing. So eventually. The um, uh, I realized that I was ignoring my scar. Mm. That there was an issue that you know I kind of surpassed for years and never really tried to deal with. It. And so you know I understood now that that was my purpose to actually face my scar. And a lot of times uh, that's the reason we're writing the book. A lot of times we don't like to face our scar because. Our scar hurts too much. It, it brings too many memories, pains, and that, all the other things. And so the same thing. I didn't want to face it, and uh, I, I've talked about it before. Then I've done all kinds of stuff, but I've never, I've never had the idea or attitude of wanting to write about it. And so when I wrote about it, it was worst. It was one of the worst feelings ever because it was different. Talking about it is totally different, but when you actually write, you know. You get into it, so your emotions are on paper. What you went through, so I, I literally went back. So you know, I had to get stabbed all over me. I had to see my mm. mom get stabbed all over me. I had to go through the tortures and the pains of going through the hospital, feeling the pains in the hospital, wanting to cry out, but only could cry out on the inside. You know, hating my own life, wanting to commit suicide, hating God, wondering why God you do this to me. Why am I still here? It would been easier. To, to be dead than to be alive, you know. I mean, there were a lot of things that I had to go through all over again, and I hated it. And I, but I couldn't stop writing about it until I finished. But and uh, and, and it took like a, it took like a whole it took a little while, but eventually I finished it. But it changed my life. And so to to answer your question is that once I finished the book, it really affected me to want me to want to know about. It the guy and so I, I actually did some research and it wasn't that easy and the jail system is not that um, not that admin. They're, they're not that admin. Mm -hmm. You know, they they don't they they don't keep records and all that other stuff too good. So so it took a little while before I got some information but um, it was one letter of his name and how and, and why it was such an issue. One letter. You know, and uh, it was an E versus an A, and uh, I mean, and, and, and it, it really caused issues. But once I found out, um, I started keeping track of different things. Uh, you know, um, he, he was he was uh, up for parole twice. He was denied twice, and his first one, his first parole, he sounded more um, sincere. The second one, he lied on my mom, and you know, he changed the whole story around. And the uh, board caught him in a lie, and so he admits he was lying and different things like that. And he also sent a letter of apology and stuff like that, but it was just before the parole board, you know, so. Mm -hmm. Have you ever confronted him at a face to face? Uh, no. Uh, the closest thing I've done was wrote him a, a letter of forgiveness. And uh, I did that this year to send that out. But I haven't personally met him or, or talked to him. One day, Possibly, but uh, he's in California. And, uh, you know, flying there, and money, and all that stuff. So mm -hmm. right now, but one day, I, I, I expect to be there. Did you ever see him? No. Mm -hmm. Normally, um, 
Well, no, if, if you get a response, the, uh, the system will let you know and they'll mail it to you if you mm -hmm. so desire and so forth. But they, they say that the, uh, they, they let you know from the get go that the letter can, it doesn't, doesn't always, it's not, may not always be what you expected. Mm -hmm. So what you get is what you get. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. Uh, 84, so it was mm. almost 25, what do they call it, about 26 years in mm. September, about 26 years. Mm -hmm. um, so who ended up raising you? My aunt. Your mm. mother's sister? Yes. Uh, yeah. She was only a little older than her. She was. Mm -hmm. So were you raised in California? Mm -hmm. In that area? Yeah. yeah um, uh, live not, I uh, live like two blocks away from where it happened. Oh, no. <laughs> Did you know was that at uh, You know, it, it's, it's funny. that That's how you know. You know, sometimes we have to go through some serious experiences to know that there is a God. And that was my experience. Because I look back now and I say, wow. You know, uh, believe it. You know, it's, it's weird because I never really thought about it. I, I knew where she lived or we lived, but it never was, never haunted me that if you go down this street or whatever, it never bothered me. But wow. yeah, I lived probably about about two or three blocks away mm -hmm. from where it happens. In the same neighborhood and everything. And wow. his, his family, she lived in the same area. And his family as well. But uh, yeah, mm -hmm. but nothing happened concerning that after, after with his family and so forth. Mm -hmm. But you said there was an apology um, that you spoke of earlier. So the apology you talked about was that you said the uh, the uh, attacker uh, there was an apology. Was that apology toward you or just an apology plea toward him getting out? What was that apology? Well, just apology to say that uh, he can't really uh, say in words mm -hmm. or or he would never expect for me to really forgive him or not. Mm -hmm. But, you know, he just was pretty much saying that, you know, he's sorry for what he did. And uh, and then he uh, blamed the system on, on his actions. Mm -hmm. Right, right. So it was more, you know, the life of uh, the neighborhood we lived in, that's what it's about, and different mm -hmm. things like that. So. So, you know, it wasn't, like I said, it was an apology, but it wasn't so much. But, you know, like, 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 like I tell people, you know, you can't allow, you know, Hollywood scene would be that person says I'm sorry and does all this stuff and everything else, but sometimes Hollywood don't come. <laughs> and so, and so I, you know, what you going to do now? You got to keep moving. And so I, you know, I encourage people, you know, if it has something to do with hurt, scars, pains, you know, don't let it have power over you. You have power over it. Mm -hmm. And so the things that I do, it doesn't mean that it's just so easy to do. But I, I don't, I don't get, um, I don't allow the, the the natural aspect of it to win. You know, the natural aspect, of course, he did me wrong. I need to do him wrong. I need to do revenge and everything else, but. But I take it to another level, to where, you know, I feel like that the things that I'm doing, if it's forgive, if it's going to see the guy or whatever, the things, you know, speaking about it, whatever, I feel like it's, it's, uh, it's, it's changing lives, helping other people, and it's, and it's, it's allowing me to have that, that power versus it having power over me. Now, what would you do, like, I'm just thinking in the forgiveness sense. Um, let's say that... Um, someone sent you, and this is hypothetical, and I'm going to say it in a Hollywood type way. Hypothetically, someone sends you a UPS flight ticket to go see him face to face. I know it's not tangible now, but just say it, that happened. Because you, you've been around, uh, I've seen you on TV, and uh, when I tell people about, before I could get the title of your book out of my mouth, they say, I know him. I mean, everywhere I've been. I know him. So if in hearing this and you get that final UPS letter, you can now fly and see um, finally face to face with this person. I know it's not tangible now, but, but 
and you kind of think about that and you make it fun. I mean, look, I'll be TNT drama. I'll be the drama, I'll just be honest with you. I'll be mad, and what'd you say? Mad, frustrated, irritated, uh, ready to curse, ready to throw something, all the above. I ain't gonna lie to you. You know, I, you know um, I'm a human. Yeah. You know, honestly. But I, I know that eventually I'm gonna do what's right. You know, regardless of how I feel, I'm gonna do the right thing. You know, um, but it's not going to be easy. Um, just like I, I, now I can say now I wrote a letter, but it wasn't easy. I mean, mm -hmm. I knew I said I was going to write a letter last year. I didn't write it until this year. Mm -hmm. You know, then after I wrote the letter, I didn't mail it for like another month. Mm -hmm. I mean, so I'm saying it, it's, it wouldn't be that easy, you know. Um, I wouldn't like to be pressured on it either, mm -hmm. honestly. If they brought me a ticket, don't put no date on there. I'll tell you when I'm going to Don't put no date on there. Uh-uh, because I need to get myself right. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Yeah, yeah. 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 Exactly. You know, I mean, you know, we, we're we're pressured like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, so like you said, it's not tangible. I don't know how I would act, but I'm just thinking now. You know, I'm just telling you how I would feel. Yes. Yeah. If I if they had a date, you know. I'd be messed up more because it's like they put a date for me to get right, you know. Mm -hmm. I want to get my own mm -hmm. time, you know. But honestly, that's how God works. Yeah. yeah.